Hello guys, this is Ruben Raj and in this video I am going to talk about CAP theorem. The CAP represents uh, consistency, availability and partition tolerance and uh, here in the Venn diagram I have represented all these three properties together and uh, what CAP theorem states that if you have a uh, distributed database architecture you can achieve any two properties out of three out of these three and uh, I will show this uh, theorem with some examples so that you will understand more clearer and uh, this cap theorem applies only to NoSQL databases so not for uh, SQL database but uh, this cap theorem was meant to uh, prove the properties only for the NoSQL databases and uh, before getting into the proof I'll just explain what is consistency availability and partition tolerant with some example for that I'm going to consider uh, two data nodes let's say I have a data node 1 and uh, I have one more data node maybe in the same place or in different uh, region it doesn't matter now and these two data nodes are connected with network and let's say here we have uh, some users in this region and a uh, few users on the other region and uh, they can read data and they can write data to uh, to the data nodes and uh, what consistency uh, states that what this property means whatever uh, you I mean if you try to read some data from the data node you should get uh, the new and the latest version of data always let's say here I am writing a data and uh, the data is going to be let's say order one and if a user from the data node I mean in the region other region is trying to read the data from data node 2 and he should get the same value what uh, I mean the same value what has been written in data node 1 so once the user written the data here it should be replicated through the network to the data node 2 so here in the data node 2 the same data will be available for the users in the other region so whenever I read some data from any data node I should get the most recently updated version of uh, the data so this uh, this uh, means the consistency and uh, we will see what is availability now so we can consider the same scenario here uh, the data node is here and uh, whenever any user try to read some data or write some uh, data to the data node it should be always available it should not uh, say I, I i'm not able to uh, process your request or i'm not able to give the response from the database so it should not do that so the data node should be always available and uh, we'll see what is a uh, partition tolerance now so here the partition tolerance uh, represents the network partition tolerance so here we have the rep uh, network between the data nodes and uh, it's not partition tolerated now let's say there is a problem in the network and uh, the, the, the network is broken between these two data nodes and we call this scenario as partition tolerance so the two data nodes are partitioned into two different uh, isolated running instance because of this uh, network uh, outage so we call this scenario as partition tolerance so we uh, actually I have explained about the uh, individual terms and uh, now we will see the proof and uh, the proof says that uh, the distributed database systems can provide only two of these properties at the same time so I'm going to consider one more example it's a kind of similar example like this and uh, I'm going to prove the cap theorem and here the two data nodes are connected by a network and uh, the replication process is going on in the background so whatever you write something in the data node 1 it will be replicated to the data node 2 I'll name this as data node 1 and I'll name this as data node 2 and uh, first we will prove the consistency and availability so here the partition is a uh, not all sorry here the network is not partitioned actually it's connected so the users from one region and the users from the other region 
will get the consistent data as well as the data nodes are available. So here we can prove C and uh, yeah. So here what C represents is consistency. So whatever user writes or update an existing data in data node one, let's say uh, I have a data here called uh, customer one. This data is replicated here because uh, the network is not partition tolerated. So the users from the other region will get the same data. So it's consistent. And uh, whenever user try to read or write from the data nodes, uh, the, the request will be processed. So it's available. So the data node is always available. So here uh, you can say this is consistent and as well as available and not partition tolerant. Not P. So here the P means uh, partition tolerance. So here you can achieve these two. And uh, we will see one more scenario to prove other two possibilities. I'll just move these up a little bit. Now we are going to see the second scenario. For the second scenario, I'm going to choose a similar kind of uh, example from uh, the proof one. And uh, consider we have two different data nodes and uh, the data node one and uh, data node 2 and here let's consider we have a data called customer 1 and uh, the data nodes are connected initially and the replication process is running in the background and here the data node 2 will have the same data customer 1 and here we have few set of users and here we have a few set of users and let's say we are going to prove C, P, and uh, I'll, I'll say what, what's going to be here after the explanation. So here we are going to prove C, P, consistency and partition tolerance. And uh, let's consider here the network is broken. So the two data nodes are running in an isolated way now because uh, there is no internet connection or something, some problem with between these uh, two data nodes. And uh, here you can see the partition tolerance. Here the network is partitioned and uh, the consistency. So in this situation, the data node should provide the consistency. Let's say here, a uh, user from the region two is going to update the existing data from customer one to customer two, but the data node should say that uh, I have uh, isolated from the other data nodes. There is a uh, no internet connection or there is a network problem between the data nodes. So I'm not going to process your request anymore. So here the data nodes proves the consistency. What the data node is trying to do is uh, I'm going to keep all the data as consistent as possible because if this user trying to update this uh, data, I could not able to replicate this new data to the uh, other data nodes. So the data node should not allow any user to update or write any new data. So here it proves the consistency and here it's kind of uh, it's kind of not available because the data nodes are not available now. So it's not going to process anything because it's not connected with the network. Uh, so here, oh, let's say the user is trying to uh, read some data or write some data, the data nodes are not going to process the request. So here, the data nodes are not available. So here the A means availability. So here you can achieve consistency and partition tolerance together, but not availability. And I'll show the last example to prove A and B availability and partition tolerant. I'll just move these a little bit. For the third scenario, I'm going to choose one more example. And in this example, I'm going to have uh, two data nodes. Let's say DN2 and uh, data node one. And I'm going to have some data here, customer one. And here I'm going to have the same data customer one because it's replicated and uh, there was an internet connection before and it's uh, replicated and here again we have a set of users and uh, here we have a set of users 
and here what we are going to prove is AP so availability and partition tolerance so here let's consider the network is partitioned and uh, here we can see the partition tolerance and uh, the database should provide the availability now for example here uh, the user is trying to update this data from customer 1 to customer 2 and there is one more user from the region 2 trying to update this uh, customer 1 from uh, sorry cust uh, from customer 1 to customer 3 and still the data nodes are uh, allowing the users to update some data update some existing data and uh, it also allows the user to read data from the data nodes so it's always available so for example here this user is trying to read some data still the data node process the request and uh, give the response as customer 3 but the network is partitioned the data is not uh, the latest version because the maybe the latest version is customer 2 and uh, the old version is customer 3 but still this data node is uh, available to process the request and uh, it's giving at least some response maybe it yeah it's it's a old data but still it's uh, uh, allow the user to read the old data so here it proves the availability and partition tolerant but here the data is not consistent because here the version is cons customer 2 and here the version is customer 3 and the data is not consistent and so here we can say it is not consistent so like this we can uh, uh, achieve any two properties out of these three using this cap theorem in uh, distributed architecture and uh, that's all for this video guys and if you have any questions or uh, something you can just uh, write it in on the comments and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and you can do subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching this video guys bye bye